This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a LoboJack model HS21 hidden shackle padlock. I recently featured this in video number 576, and there I picked the lock open, and I also expressed some concern that this tiny pin that you can barely see on the bottom of the lock right here, which holds the core in place, could be overcome using a slide hammer. So that's what we're going to test today. What I'm going to do is take this small slide hammer attachment, put a sheet metal screw through it, and screw it right into the core. Once we do that, we'll take this attachment, thread it onto the end of the slide hammer right here, and give it a couple of whacks and see if we can pull that core right out. So let's go down to the garage and see how that works out. Okay, we're down in the garage. I have the lock in the vise, and the first thing we need to do is get a sheet metal screw and the cap, place the screw through it, and I'm actually gonna try to screw this in by hand. I know in the past I've always used an electric screw gun, but I've never actually tried getting one of these screws in without the electric gun, so that's what we're gonna try now. Okay, it looks like I'm biting and it's going in now. It took a little bit of getting of force to get it started, but now that it is started, it seems to be going in pretty easily. Okay, now that I have that on, I'm going to get the slide hammer, thread this on. I think that should probably be enough. And now let's see what it takes to get this core out, if we can get it out at all. Okay. Okay, looks like our first shot, and we sheared the screw. So let's actually try getting another screw in there. I can see that the core did come out just a tiny little bit, so we are making some headway here. Yep, we definitely sheared some of those threads off. Okay, let's get another screw and see what happens. Okay, that screw went in a lot easier. I wonder if I damaged the threads getting the first one in because it was so hard to get in. Okay, I've got that all the way in, so let's try one more time. There we go, and that came right out the second time. I think probably my issue was I stripped that first screw. You can see there's that little pin that we were talking about before. and You can see we just sheared that right off. Let's see what this means for us getting the lock open now. Okay, it looks like we can just reach in here with a slotted screwdriver. Let me get one. Turn the actuator, and there we go, we opened it up. Okay, so I guess we can pull the core out. I actually think that first screw that I stripped, I think the problem happened mostly when I was putting it in. So I would have to say, this LoboJack model HS21 is definitely vulnerable to a slide hammer attack. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.